I've been living in Chicago for some time now to attend a university here. Uh, you can see the, the city is windy as per usual. My hair is flying around. Um, I don't know. I've been sitting up here on this roof deck reflecting on just my time here and what I've learned and how city life isn't really my thing but there's so, still been so much that I've learned and experienced that I never would have imagined before um, and it's kind of sad to leave this view up here on the roof deck and my apartment because um, I'll be moving out for the summer so by the time I upload this it'll probably I won't be here anymore <laughs> but I wanted to keep a video of this place because I realized I haven't really recorded anything or I mean I have lots of video of me doing Bible readings in my apartment but I didn't ever really do a tour um, and yeah it just it's really cool and I, I, I want to kind of preserve this so the sky is just an incredible blue today you can see the moon is hanging out um, birds are twittering everywhere. We've got some Andes clouds. I call them Andes clouds um, because they remind me of Andes wallpaper in Toy Story. It's just, our world is so incredibly beautiful. I don't know how anyone could not appreciate what we have. I love the attempts for greenery. <laughs> We've got some succulents and uh, other plant life hanging around and uh, I don't know it's been a while since I've seen people hanging out up here um, I assume it happens a lot sometimes I come up here and you've got people drinking um, you're not supposed to <laughs> and then you can actually walk down here yeah I'm barefoot who needs shoes in modern day society but you can come and get a closer look at the buildings. And at certain times of day, you get this orange glimmer shining on all of the windows. As I said, I'm not much of a city person, yet there is beauty to be found wherever you go. And living here has helped me see those things. And in every place there's a charm to be found, to be had. In every place there's a uniqueness that can't be found anywhere. So in particular, Chicago has its own uniqueness. There's a lot of issues, but what place doesn't have issues? And yeah, over here is a fire escape. Um, if I was brave enough, I would record from there so then you wouldn't have anything in the way. Um, but I don't trust my hands to not drop my <laughs> camera. Even standing here, I'm feeling a little tingly just thinking about how high this is. Um, so, and I just love, I also love seeing greenery hanging out on the trees. Mother Nature always takes things back really quick. Um, it's interesting how humanity has to tear it back in order to keep things up, you know, keep everything in order. Uh, it's crazy how quickly things deteriorate. And then, yeah, um, this is the side of the apartment complex that I live in which I won't be in anymore by the time this is uploaded, so... Um, yeah, it's just, it's charming. It's a cute little place. I love coming up here. Um, yeah. <laughs> there's my feet. There's my shoes. And there's the journal I should be writing in for my class. But I don't wanna. So I'm sitting here on the roof deck. Um, this is the view that I have just from sitting here. Uh, they have this railing to protect us, although if you really wanted to, you could climb. And that's the view. Let me get that off. 
balsam chimney in the middle of the view. <laughs> and yeah, it's just absolutely incredible. Um, and I really like, you can come this direction, you can see St. Clement's Church, which is close by. And every hour we get to hear the bells ringing. Reminds me a lot of the abbeys in Europe. So this is the stairwell in the complex. I usually take the stairs rather than the elevator, unless the elevator happens to be on the correct floor. Um, each landing has a window. Looks like they kept it open just because it gets pretty hot here and we don't really have AC. And I'm on floor five. <laughs> but I won't be anymore, so there you go. And then the weird thing is we get, oops, wrong card. That's my laundry card. We have key cards. And my apartment's a mess, so you're gonna think I'm a slob. <laughs> um, usually it's pretty tidy, um, but I've been focused on my finals. So when you walk in, um, I have tapestries up, I'm one of those people. It gets pretty hot. <laughs> I have a fan just sitting on there. Um, I was writing, so my bed's kind of a mess. My desk even more so. It's a bug on my arm. Um, yeah, everything's a kind of a mess, so I apologize. But, you know, you can see what it looks like. It's a cute little studio. Um, Yeah. And then I come into my closet, which, yeah. <laughs> and then this is my bathroom. So it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, memories. I came up here again to do more work on my journal for class. And I thought even though I already took video of the roof deck the other day, I still wanted to show you guys again because it looks really cool each time you come up here. Um, each time the weather changes creates a whole different feeling to the city, a whole different um, aesthetic to the skyline. So, I don't know. You can probably also tell it's windy up here, um, windier than it was the other day. Um, and I'm proud to announce I finally finished all the writing in my journal. It took a while to catch up. Um, sometimes I'm not the best at doing it daily the way that I was supposed to in class, so not only did I have to dig into my memory to get the correct memories, to the according dates. Um, I also had to write it all down, which takes some time. And then I'm gonna have to go back inside and do some essay writing. That'll be exciting. And then I'll finally be done with this quarter. Oh my goodness, it's been a tough time, baby. Um, but we are in for it. We are here. <sighs> yeah. It's gonna be hard to leave this particular view. I really like coming up here to read and draw, 